Hi everyone, in this video we'll be seeing whether these sets of vectors this set of vectors span R3. So what is R3? It's a set of three-dimensional vectors which is x y and z so now we are given this set of vectors so you want to know whether this set of vectors span any vectors in its three-dimensional so like earlier on we learned that in our last video we have learned that we can determine whether any vector falls inside the span of this vector so any vector can be in this form and we can do this by saying that if any vector can be written in this linear combination of this span set of vectors so let's do it first for part a to see whether this set of vectors span r3 so let's write the linear combination of this to get this, so we will be a one zero zero plus p zero two zero plus C zero zero three. So if you have no idea what A, B, and C means, these are just the scalar constant or the parameterization constant. So what it will give me x x y and z. So we can do it. So a, b, and c are my parameterization constant. So therefore, we can write in terms of his argumented matrix, which is one zero zero. 0, 2, 0, 0, 0, 3, 8, B, C will give me X Y, Z. So therefore, we can write it again in its coefficient matrix form. So therefore, it is one zero 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 two zero zero zero. Three goes to x, y, z. So now our aim is to find whether our a, b, and c we have more than at least one solution. So that if there's at least one solution, we can say that this set of vectors span our tree. So we carry on from here. Now that is already in row in echelon form Y because every leading entry 
has the leading variable and for every leading every leading entry in each row is above zero so you get a diagonal form same as this the leading entry in the second row is on top of zero except for the last row so now let's reduce the last entry into one so therefore you get again one zero zero x so for the second row we make it into one so it's zero the divide two divided by two equals to one zero and y divided by two equals to y over two and for the third row we divide by three to make the leading entry into one so it's zero zero one and z over 3 well, this is our solution and as you can see from here the system is in reduced row echelon form why because every leading entry is 1 and for that system which has for that row which has 1 1 lies in a column where only one is the non-zero integer and the same goes for this column and this column since there's at least one solution for a b and c and in this case a equals x b equals to y over 2 c equals to z over 3 you can say that there's at least one solution for a b and c as you can see here therefore this set of vectors span r3 which is just a set of vectors in three dimensional now let's carry on with part b the same thing again we just write this whether this set of linear whether these two vectors can be linearly can be written as a set of linear combination to get these vectors so let's start off so we have two sets of vect we have two sets of vectors which means that we must have two parametrization constant a and b so a 1 1 0 plus b 3 0 0 equals to x y and z so we can write it in this argumented matrix so it's 1 1 0 3 0 0 A B equals to X Y Z and therefore let's write it in its coefficient matrix form which is 1 1 0 3 0 0 equals to x y and z so if you notice here we can see that the first and second row have the a core a variable so we want to eliminate the coefficient the a variable in the second row so this is first row second row and third row so so therefore 
we minus first row minus one times our first row plus the second row. Therefore, we get well, the first row will be undisturbed. So minus 1 plus 1 will give me 0. Minus 0. Uh, minus 1 plus 1 will equal to 0. Minus 3 plus 0 equals to minus 3. Minus x plus y equals to minus x plus y. And the third row will be undisturbed. Now, let's make our leading our second since now is already in echelon form, as you can see here, because one is above zeros, and this one for the second row, the leading entry is minus three and is above zeros also. Hence, we can make the leading entry into 1 so second row divide by 3 minus 3 therefore you get 1 3 x 0 1 minus x plus y over minus 3 0 0 z so now let me erase this first to save some space So now we are like this, we can pivot upwards to make it into reduced echelon form. So now you want to eliminate the y variable here by adding minus 3 times of row 2 to row 3. So now let's keep our third row and second row constant. Zero one minus x plus y over minus three. Now for this, so minus three times one equals to minus three, minus three plus three equals to zero, and the same for this, so. Minus 3 times 0 equals to 0. 0 plus 1 equals to 1. So now for this, let's work it out. So it's minus 3 minus x plus y over minus 3. plus x so now minus 3 times minus 3 will cancel each other out so you get minus x plus y plus x equals to y therefore we have y here so now we got this form of vector where we get we are in a reduced echelon form and as you can see here you get one is above zeros and one is above zero and one is the only non-zero integer in the first column and also in the second column you can see that there's a unique value for a and b 
and as for this there is also so let's think of a zero vector first for x y and z so should x y and z be zero 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 and z equals to zero and whereby if z equals to zero then we get zero equals to zero this means that the equation is con consistent and therefore regardless of the value of z so no matter what a and b have consistent values and therefore we can say that this set of vec this set of vector span r3 this is correct and also for a correct hence all this span and then we can say that since that the parameterization constant for the parameterization constant there's at least one solution as from here we can say that the vectors were span so that's all for our lesson and if you have any comments please feel free to drop me a comment and i'll reply to your comment thank you